Greetings, worthless peons! If you recall, last time we got our asses handed to us. Again. So we left. Found a zombie who's been fucking with my head. I want to see what's in here. What's this? Waterlogged lowland. Oh. <clears throat> we walked across the heath for a long time, yet no sight sprang up before our eyes. By turns, we discovered a verdant lowland with several ne nearabout springs streaming down behind another hillside. And then, in the distance, in the center of the lowland, among the bush, there stood a single dry tree. A true giant. Its magnificent outline resembled an animal's paw clawing at the sky. But what was truly remarkable, the flat landscape was dotted by mysterious dark humps. They were piled about the height of a man and scattered about in abundance. Now let's check it out. The further we trekked, the softer the land became. Step by step, the heath grass gave way to moss, low-growing shrubs and ferns, and then sloshy puddles of stinky swamp water. The muddy ground sucked at our feet, and soon our party was jumping from hassock to hassock. Finally, we reached the first group of mysterious humps and learned they were no mere hills but dugout dwellings. We moved with great care toward the center of the lowland, and there the real swamp began. On the other way toward the mysterious giant tree, we saw the foggy outline of another hut. This one much bigger and surrounded by small clay statues. Let's examine the surrounding dwellings. Inside, the dugouts were frowsy and dark. Darker than holes darker than holes, and filled with absolute desolation. There were no windows in these mud walls, no furniture or other homely items, except for the odd piece of tattered wicker. But every dwelling had a large hollow dug right in the center of the dirt floor, like a fire pit, but taking up a gr the greater part of, of the space. They were filled with the standing water and reeked beyond description. We moved with great care toward the center of the lowland. Oh, yeah. We've already done that one. We're gonna tie ropes to each other and then carry on, just in case. <clears throat> we walked slowly, carefully choosing our way, keeping to drier ground as much as possible. But the further we went, the more difficult it became, and soon we were wading waist-deep through the cattails. Frogs croaked loudly as we peered anxiously into the cloudy water, struggling to make out what shadows flitted along the bottom. We often stumbled and lost our balance, but our trusty rope and the aid of our friend <laughs> saved us from being lost to the bog. Lost our rope, though. Told you rope's useful. The insatiable bog gurgled hungrily after us, but we didn't look back. Sodden and weary... We finally made it back to solid ground, and a palace of sorts rose before our eyes. A spacious hut, made of mud like the rest, but decorated with pebbles, bones, cattail spikes, and snail shells. In front of the palace was a wide and shallow reservoir. Its green water reflected the leaves of huge ferns and primitive clay figurines. The buzzing of gnats was nearly deafening. We were not far to the center of the swamp, and a firm and steady path led there through the thick bushes. At its end, that tall, dry tree stretched mightily upwards, clawing at the firmament. Let's check these clay figurines. Oh, we have no fucking clue. Goggle eyes, flat heads with no necks, ears or chins, ugly long legs, unnaturally bent. These mysterious clay sculptures depicted some uncanny cross between a frog and a human. What's in the hut? <clears throat> oh, we got stuff. The palace was twice the height of the other huts, and its entrance was wide enough that three could walk abreast. The walls were decorated. An unknown builder had scratched drawings in the clay while it was still wet. The faded scroll depicted huge amphibians devouring smaller figures. Some frog-headed, others not. Three of the four rooms boasted large holes filled with water, just like the other dwellings. 
though there were steps descending into them, cut into the dirt. In the furthest room, we found equipment decorating the walls. Leather armor, spears, clubs. To our surprise, a number of the items were well preserved. The hut was clearly deserted, so we felt no shame in taking some of it with us. We wouldn't feel shame if there were people in there. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> it was ever so lovely to walk once again along the well-trodden path. Our soaked clothes imagined being dry, and our mood lifted once. The bushes that bordered the path seemed to wave at us amiably. Their juicy green leaves. And shiny bright red berries. A fresh wind puffed away the rotten smell, and it finally felt like the swamp might be nearly behind us. And... Wait a minute, did I choose to leave? Hold on. Oh no, apparently not. Alright, so apparently I must have misunderstood what I was reading. Common occurrence. It said like, oh yeah, the swamp's disappearing. I'm like... Summon it, right? <sighs> Finally, after what seemed an endless trek, we came upon the gigantic dry tree that had so intrigued us from the beginning. Lo and behold, we saw an idol cut into its trunk. A huge, horned, three-eyed toad. Its, <laughs> its googly eyes made it look both cruel and dumb. A most idiotic. Its muzzle hung half open, sharp-toothed with several hanging tongues. Deep brown streaks oozed from the corner of its mouth. And, uh, you know, what the fuck is this? There can be no doubt. This was Gogunta, master of the Great Swamp and the Demon Abyss. What's this? While we were examining an idol, a large, bright blue dragonfly came out of a hollow in the tree and sat invitingly on the very tip of one of our noses. So remarkably strange. It didn't react to our movements and seemed quite content to remain where it sat. I'ma eat it! Blah! <clears throat> I failed a fortitude check, but then again, I am a wizard. I heard a wet crunch, and I winced before I could look. I turned around, hearing a faint cry. Reginald had turned white and started to collapse. We barely had time to catch him. After returning to life in a few hours, he told us amazing things. It turns out that Boggard's- oh, this is a Boggard joint. That Boggard's priest ate blue dragonflies to fall into hypnotic trances where they could hear the will of the goddess. The demon lord, Gogunta. The creator... All of... The- oh, typo. The creator all of Boggard kind. In his dream, Reginald saw ancient times. How the Boggards built their settlements. How they raided the neighbors and enslaved their children. How they held bloody rituals to honor bloated amphibian monsters. The roar of their laughter throughout the dark centuries. And he saw a priest bury a stash of plundered jewelry in his hut, rather than offering it to his cruel goddess. In return, the wrathful Gogunta sent a horrible plague upon his tribe. And that priest would be their last. We turned around to leave the abominable swamp. The flesh-eating bush grew quiet and gave way. On the journey back, we were sure to look inside the priest's hut and dig out the treasure that had once wiped out his entire tribe. And I am currently... I have swamp seer poison. Once an hour for eight hours. It's my wisdom at right now. Oh, yeah. This is not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm gonna need a few naps. So let's, uh... Let's go back to Oleg's joint. So I can rest up a bit. Because that's going to be vitally necessary. Oh, and also to sell some of the shit we have. <clears throat> Show me your wares, Oleg. Hmm. 
Okay. Done. Wait a minute. I can afford that one stupid thing. I might make another body to throw at people. I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back. Hmm, here he is. The paladin that I have designed to assist me in our travels. He only cost us all of our money. We'll take him. So let's have another healer and tank. All right. I'm still dumber than normal right now. That's perfectly fine. I always need to figure out where the hiffle we're going. Actually. What's this guy got? I have to get you a shield, man. Hmm? And we're off. Bloop. Just one more body could honestly uh, give us exactly what we needed to take out that Technic League encampment. And the fact that Amiri's leveled up as well helps. Since then. Again, there's also Tusk Gutter's Lair we could go back and try again. Let's do that first. And of course, we're going to take a nap before we go in. Alrighty. You have no special rolls. Can't camouflage. I have no perceptions, apparently. Hunting? No. Why did I bring you on? Yeah, whatever. You'll just take up space there for now. Okay. Stay away from me, you spook! I'll tear up your hands before you can blink. Ooh. You flatter yourself. I've no interest in primitive boneheads. And this group is great unit cohesion. Why do we need five rations? One of us is undead and doesn't need to eat. And we were attacked. Joy of joys, what we fighting? Oh, just dipshit bandits. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, they really got the jump on us here. Get wrecked. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, that one was easy. She's still asleep. But she can go and harass that archer. Let's see what you can do. Lay on hands. Smite evil. Fight defensively. Is this guy evil? I'm going to say yes. A solid plan. Whoa, is, what was that animation? His his thing didn't his an, animation didn't go off right. We and that's a miss. Wretched things. Alright, so we have an evil inquisitor, a chaotic cleric, and I made myself a lawful good paladin. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that's horrifying. 
We gotta get the fuck out of here. Aim carefully. He doesn't have an animation. Did they not give him animations? Cause he's. Oh, this must be an orc. That's weird. Okay, well, I mean, so long as he's doing numbers. Let's not go by the mangled corpse. That one, that one's weird. Nothing really worthwhile except for maybe a great sword and the composite. All right, now. We're going to go into Tusk Gutter's lair. If you recall, last time we went here. Oh, never mind. That didn't work. That happened. Tear him apart. Just watch me. Scared. <laughs> now she ain't scared of no pork chop. There's a custom where I'm from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. Normally we just drop trow around here. <clears throat> uh, girls don't get an initiation. Ah, I could give you my own. <laughs> so she arranged a trial for herself. Like in that song about Kagul the Orphan. Never heard of him. She downed a lion, a cave lion in single combat. She has scars from that battle. Know what the elders did after the lion's skin? They invoked a formality and said no. I wish. They laughed. <sighs> All right, let's get the let's get the pig. You're dying alone. Got it. We're just gonna sit back here and watch. All right, that's it. We're just sitting back here and waiting. Bring it. Probably throw out a bless on these guys. It'll last just about a minute. Probably shield myself. You didn't even hit it. You just you just got hurt, so you're scared. Whatever, let's go. Thought you could take it on yourself. What happened to that, Amiri? Huh? Get him a heavy crossbow. They go down! Wow. She has rolled so bad. This won't kill me. Nope. Despicable. Well, that one hasn't been hit at all, so we can just run up and channel energy. She'll go down next turn. And a miss. He's just out of my range. There, he's finally taking some damage. There, someone hit it. Smite Evil's gonna be worthless on it, because this is a neutral thing. Uh, try to heal up Amiri a bit. No, she's going down. Bring it. Achoo. I survive. I always survive. She's down. He missed. We can get her back up real fast. She'll die if she stands up, though. I missed. Woo, it missed. She missed. He hit. And it also has ferocity. 
Let's rattle its bones a bit. That didn't work. It's perfectly fine. I plan to blow everyone up. I'm a wizard. Miss. And oh, there we go. See? All we needed was one more body, and they're all on fire. So you almost, I almost, you didn't hit it once. If I, I don't even think you hit it once. Hey, you passed this test back when you were in tribe, right? <clears throat> it's not just pups must pass this test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide. Proves he's not weak. <laughs> oh, hey. She's real embarrassed. But she's a warrior. She doesn't get embarrassed. This is clearly the best girl you've seen so far. You need a mo another monster? There, she'll kill that too, uh, just for shits. Hmm. Well, let's uh find some stuff to plunder. Me or lose me. This won't kill me. There's the head skin. Yep, got the skin. There's a guy. What you got? Ooh. A wand of fine traps. That's going to be not that useful. What's Honey doing in a bag like that? It would get absolutely everywhere. Remember to always check the entire map for loot. That's your own. Because we're not playing Pathfinder. We're playing Munchkin. But in the Pathfinder system. How long does shield last again? Yeah. It's about a minute per level, isn't it? The path is clear. Okay. Now we're going to uh, go to the Technic League. Take a nap. And then take out the Technic League. After I caught my entire party on fire. For tactical reasons. Camping! What will your end of times look like, Helm? You'll hardly live to see it. And I'd like to know what to prepare for. So much arrogance in your words. So much smugness. Do you wish to live forever? Grotus laughs at your plans, for they might be cut short in a day, in an hour, or the very next moment. He's right, you know. <clears throat> oh, I finally made food right. Now, let's go. Again. Except this time I'm going to shield myself and we're going to throw out a bless before we get into the fight. Okay. State your desire. The road awaits. Bless. Enlarge person. Shield. Let's go. Oh, da 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 Oh, hey, she finally passed the safer against cause fear. Good job, Amiri. Blow up that wizard. As best we can. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's still a lot of them. And now it's time for the paladin to uh, begin his paddling. He can't charge anyone. Go harass this. Oh, wait, attack that guy. 
with your no animate no non animated ass. What a waste. Start raging. No, nope, go around this way. Go here. Attack. Excellent. All right, the paladin's immune to cause fear because he's a paladin. Advance. Oh, that bitch on fire. Nice. That was a solid hit there. And she rolled a one. A solid plan. Become as dust. Uh, she's gonna be gone for not very long, actually. All right, so uh, our priest of Grotus ain't doing too hot. I'm gonna back up a bit and blast a wizard. Holy shit, that was like a max damage blow there. Paladin still cannot be feared. And he still doesn't have an animation for swinging that. Now it's in the way of another archer. Wretched things. This body holds no. Oh, she's gonna have to be healed up real fast. Take this. Damn. Carefully. Five foot back here. And heal up the uh, undead. That didn't work. Hold on. Kill the archer! Kill the swordsman! Heal the undead. There we go. Yeah, because the undead is clearly a major tar- Oh, that one went down. Boot the archer. I'm not worried about a wizard who's out of spells. Charge the archer. Kill the archer. And now... Burn the mage! Charge! Can't charge the mage. Run at the mage. Run in the mage's general direction. Rattle her bones. <laughs> Smack them in. Oh, there we go. Mercy. Oh, he's about to ass blast her. Come now. Why spoil? Why, why kill her? Basically. Oh, he's like, oh, come on. She kept us as slaves. I want to ask some questions though. <clears throat> Who are you? Okay, an alliance of wizards and scholars. Is it normal for you to just grab people off the road? Oh yeah, uh, we're strong because they can, they just do that. How has a few kingdoms never just got together and just absolutely raised them to the ground? What are you doing here? Sent here by Maestro Genush. He's a very important person. Which is why I have never heard of him. Who taught those two magic? 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, she knocked out my dwarf. And killed my barbarian once. I'm gonna kill her. Firing squad, bitch! I could kill them. Who are you? He is Ragongar. He's played like an edgy middle schooler. I swear to God. It's hilarious. They are no mere scavengers. They can use... <coughs> Magic. Yeah. You're good. Want to join us? Oh, we can actually drop him off. Wizard squad. Away. Now let's loot everything that is not nailed down and on fire. And eh, they'll be fine tied up there. Ooh, a helmet. A vast intelligence. Some scrolls. A masterwork of stock. Two of them. And a masterwork longbow. I'm going to equip that headband. Because I'm a wizard. Hmm. All right, what else we got around? Oh, there's a thing here. A magic ash chain shirt. Food items. Let's head out. Chocolate. Masterwork longbow. Look, if they're springing for masterwork longbows, why not just get a composite? You can get more damage out of that. Anyone pick up? Okay, scroll of bang. I'll just take everything. Damn. All right. That wow, that went a lot better than last time. We'd only gained one level and a person. All right. Now, what are you? Oh, a half elf. And a multi class wizard and rogue. That's. You'd be a lot stronger as a wizard. But you'd be a lot more useful, especially early on, as a rogue. But, eh, yeah, we'll make you, we'll keep you wizard. And you're an eldritch scion. Half-orc. He's drift. Technically has a love for half-breeds, apparently. Oh, well. Let's get back to Oleg's place and uh, take a nap. Again. Oh yeah, we needed a shield for that guy. Scale mail. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah, let's just take everything. We're going back there anyways. <clears throat> that went better than expected. Hmm. Oh, hey! There's a fight on the road. Now let's see what these two can really do. I left those other slaves just tied up there. You have a sword, right? Yeah, you can go up there. You're a wizard, right? So you can go right there. It's probably something trying to hide off in the side. I don't want to bother looking for it. Well, that was certainly a thing that happened. Oh yeah, next up we need to go to the abandoned hut. Yeah, people are tired, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. These, t th these two characters we picked up are fun, but I don't like them on a different kind of level. Most because they're too fucking positive. 
Fresh bread. I can't believe it. All this time that we sat in cages and crawled in the mud, there were places in the world where they were baking fresh bread. Yes, they're called uh, bakeries. They have clean sheets. That's debatable. And take a please take a bath. Yeah, don't relax too much. We have an abandoned hut to get to. She knows. Don't ruin it for. Her. Last time she slept in a palace like this. This is okay. Was when they escaped from ta captivity. They got to Hajoth Hakados, and then they got caught. Come on, I took you in here to fight, not to flirt. I'm more interested in the half-orc anyways. <laughs> and now let's pick up a bit more money that we spent on... Getting a paladin that we immediately ditched. Someone else should use it. I, why, why can you not use a shield? A bastard toward his Okay. Now I see. Now I see. Now I see. They're both 1d8s. That one's better for him for now. And as for you, put on the magic chain mail. 17 AC. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right, we had to turn the fucking tusk gutter quest. What's the problem with tusk gutter? A big boar. Oh, by the way, he's dead. And we got 400 bucks and a masterwork longbow. That's useful. That's not the word. Now we sell a bunch of shit we don't actually need. Mostly mundane garbage. That and that and that and that. Okay. Now we have $2,000. And I am in dire need of a nap. They're just gonna sit there, aren't they? I want to be at least fifth level, personally. Before we end up uh, trying to take on the Stag Lord. And I have reasons for this. It's because I want to chuck like 20 fireballs at him. Yep, this team's nice. And now we carry on. And on. And on. And we go. To the hut. Abandoned hut. I actually want to see if I can sequence break real fast. No, no real reason. I'm just curious. There's an old oak. There's a small scuffle. That we can just leave, apparently. That happened. I need to catch my breath. Okay, fine. Jeez. Bunch of pansies. That you and I are so much alike. We both were banished for trying to be ourselves. Who are you talking to? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to be a fighter, and I did. And what did you want to be? A rotten fish with bulgy eyes? Well, huh, congratulations. <sighs> Brilliant. I forgot to set up camp duties. Oh well. So it should be around here somewhere. I know what I'm looking for. Some of you know what I'm looking for. We're probably not going to find it.
Exhilarating. Nope, we ain't gonna find it. Like, well, right there or something? Or over there? I forget. I need to catch my breath. Man, you breathe a lot. Oh, I needed to change up your spell selection too, don't I? I'm not afraid. Oh, an actual fight! It's a band bandit, huh? A solid plan. Man, I'm scared. Can you reach him at all? Yes. Can you reach him? Nope. Your life ebbs low. Just out of your range. What spells you got on you? Telekinetic fist, acid splash, large person. Oh shit, wrong button. Color spray, snowball. I just shoot someone. Woo! You cannot charge right now. Oh yeah, that's right. You're tired. I'll cut you. Okay, then do it. You pansy. You can reach that one. You can't hit that one, but by golly, you can sure reach him. There we go. And another one bites the dust. Hey up! You should move back a little bit. There we go. Why didn't either of you try and swing on him? Die for me. They go down. Aim carefully. Aim more carefully. Become Wrong dust. one. I'll fight if I have to. Well, you have to. Just do it. And he's down. Okay. Need to catch my breath. I need to have you quit complaining. Come on, jeez. We got scroll of snowball. Okay. Before you catch your breath, though, my strength betrays me. I'm going to uh, change up y'all's uh, spell loadouts. Can't cast spells. Spells per day. Yours is fine. Wait a minute. Do I already have Snowball? Yeah. Mine is fine. Oh, wait. Never mind. Do another Molten Orb. Right, my intelligence went up. <laughs> yeah. And then there's you. Large person is fine. Snowball's fine. Color spray, fine. You just have spells per day. Okay. It's only because you're only a first level wizard. Eh. And now we have to rest. Can you? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's nice. Okay. This has got to go great. For a long time, I couldn't believe we were finally free. I can still hardly believe it. It's been like three days. All at once. And if someone tried to prove otherwise, <laughs> he'd be a stinky spot on the floor that very instant. Just because you touched him doesn't mean he would smell that bad. Yeah, I have to go to the hut before I can find the thing that I'm looking for.
But what's in the hut? We'll find out what's in the hut. Next time. Until then. Toodaloo. Darlings.